Next we're going to take a look at the effects units. The controls for the effects units are on the left for FX1 and on the right for FX2 on the Zone DX and in the software FX1 is above the left hand X and FX2 is above the right hand X. So the first thing we're going to do is select an effect. So hit the select effects button, the LED comes on underneath the switch and you'll see that there is a surround goes blue and the effect type and then to choose the effect we want we simply scroll through using the encoder. Once we're happy with the effect we want we press the activate button which is the push action of the encoder. This turns off the select effects button and you lose the blue surround around the effect type in the software. Okay, so now we've selected the effect type, we want to assign the, the effect unit to the deck that we're running audio through. Well, I'm running audio through d d uh, deck 1, so I'm just going to select FX1 and start transport. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is actually turn the effect unit on. And we won't initially get any sort of response because the depth control is down. So if we look at these controls, we have depth, which is like a wet-dry control. You can hear the high-pass filter cutting in there. Second control is a modulation control. In the case of a high-pass filter, this is the resonance. So you can hear the difference in the resonance now. And my third control is my X control. This differs between different effects. In the case of the high-pass filter, this is my LFO amount. start here in the LFO. Now the rate of the LFO is determined by the time and the time is adjusted using the encoder. So you can hear the difference in the LFO there. If I go for half a beat, three quarters of a beat to one beat, two beats, four beats and then fractions off again and here getting more severe so basically the depth control is like a wet dry the mod and the X depend on the effect if you reference the user guide you'll get a much better description of what the uh, mod and X controls do on any one individual effect so we've discussed the select effects button, we've discussed the on off button. Now we'll look at the beats free button which is currently lit, which means we're in beats mode. When we discussed about the timing, and I use the time control, you can see the time element and the software changing. If I go into free mode, basically you can see that the time has now changed to a milliseconds. And I can tap in a tempo and you can see the time in milliseconds changing as I tap in the tempo if I go back to beats you can see that my time now is in derivative of beats so that's a basic overview of the effect units